Chinese New Year. Yes, yeah, Oleg, you have a very busy schedule tomorrow. There's a press conference at ten. I wrote your speech and put together rough answers to the questions and sent it all to your email. <laughs> and at one, you're discussing the model with the architect and guests. Yes, a gift for Mr. Tao and Mr. Ming is ready. Everything should be fine. Well, it's a pleasure working with you as well. Thank you. Take care. Mom. Okay, Vavka. Care to explain why you're still not in bed? I don't like it when you're talking to me like that, as if I'm old. Well, first, not old but grown up. Second, someone has an important field trip tomorrow, and not just anywhere, but to the Christmas decorations factory. And third, third, you have a very difficult day tomorrow. And depending on how well it goes tomorrow, your mom will get either an important job or not. But I can't fall asleep. Dad always told me a bedtime story about a wolf. About a wolf? I don't remember a story like that. Well. You just start, and it's always different every time. Okay, I'll try, but you must close your eyes. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hello, my little froggy.、Mm. Very nice. Didn't anybody ever teach you to ask first before opening the door? <sighs> Anya, don't ever do that.、Mm -hmm. Well, actually, look through the people. Oh, sure. I covered it with my hand. Anya, don't ever lie. <sighs> I'm glad to see you too. Dad, I'll stay with you for a while. Well, Granny is ill. I brought my new drawings, and I also brought your new book. Great job, sweetie. Let me see. Anya, you can show everything to your dad later. Go to your room. I need to talk to your、uh -huh. dad. Um. Anyway, Misha and I we have a flight in three hours. Hmm. Mom was taken to the hospital. As you heard, she has high blood pressure. That's why there's nobody to babysit Anya. Oh, I'm sorry. How is she? Hmm. Well, she's in good hands. And I'm risking a lot leaving Anya here. You know. You didn't forget that you're her father, right? Larissa, you can ask. It's not that hard. Just ask me. Seriously, tell me you should look after your daughter instead of working on your Chinese self-study guide. Of course you can do it. I understand that you have a very difficult and important job, and you need to meet the deadline. But my husband and I, we need to have a beautiful and even suntan. Hello. Yes, honey, I'm coming. All right, bye. Anyway, here's the list. This is everything that you'll need to do. Hmm. Listen to me. You know that you ruined my life once. Now, the least you could do is help me fix it. This might be my last chance. Yes, yes, yes. Much better. <laughs> Anya, sweetie, goodbye. Behave yourself, okay? Bye. Um. Breakfast, school, field trip, dance. <laughs> Your mom thinks I don't know where you need to go without this list. <laughs> where has this beautiful child gone? She's not here. No, she's not here either. Okay, I'll have to eat those tasty cookies alone. No, Daddy. Uh huh. There you are. Let's go. And on weekends, Daddy Wolf took him to the movies to watch cartoons. They had ice cream.、Mm, I miss Dad very much. I know, baby. He misses you too. 
Mom, is my dad coming to the competition for sure? Don't worry, he'll do his best. And if he comes, Anya and I will win for sure. <laughs> You'll win anyway because you're the best. You'll do great. Mom, are you still in love with dad? Of course. And now it's time to sleep. Sleep. Peter, hello. I'm sorry for such a late call. I wanted to make sure you're going to come to Vafka's competition tomorrow. Please do your best. He's really waiting for you. Anyway, how are you? Well, are you really interested? No, I mean, it's just weird. You've never been interested in my life after the divorce, so... Uh... I'm working all over the country, sometimes out of the country. I've got a lot of work and I don't get enough sleep, which is difficult, but I'm not complaining. I earn some money, take Vladimir for a week or so. We wanted to, no, I'm not lying. No, Sveta, when did I ever lie to you? Well, except that one time maybe, yeah. It's not a very good time to talk now. No, I've got an important, Gig requires my attention. Yeah, okay, bye. Bye. Ugh. Neobov, hello there. How are you? Hello, my dear. How are you feeling? Like a blown tire. Yes, a doctor just gave me a shot, a real sadist. And it really hurts. So, my daughter left Anya with you? N no, she took her. I... Dad! <laughs> You're covering up for her again, aren't you? Uh... Leoboff, listen to me. Larissa needs to think about the future, since it didn't work out with me. And children can be such an interference. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Honey, we need to have a straight talk, all right? We're... we're family, after all. Don't get upset. Just listen. I wanted to come to you? Myself. These villains in white scrubs won't let me out. Anyway, good night. I'll talk to you later. Oh, hold on. One more thing. Remember, my daughter divorced you. But I didn't. Well, have a good night. Hello, Zenya. Did anything happen? Nothing. Why? I can't just call my sister? You can, but it's the middle of the night, you know. Are you sleeping? No. I'm trying to sort out my plans for tomorrow in case I got something wrong. That's unlikely. You're my perfect older sister, Svetlana. The mayor's assistant. The one who's never wrong. Apart from marrying that Peter, an unappreciated genius of photography. All right. Good night, Zenya. Wait, don't get offended. I just wanted to tell you that I believe in you. And everything is going to be fine. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Valerie, how are you? 
I have a class at 10 a.m.? How come? I only have evening and afternoon classes. <sighs> no, there was nothing like that on the schedule. They got sick. Okay, I'll, I, I guess I'll sub for her. Mm-hmm. Oh, and what language? I'll come. Be there soon. <sighs> Have you prepared your backpack? Yeah, yesterday. Have you learned the poem? Mom, we have a field trip. What poem are you talking about? Recite it. I'll listen. <laughs> what in fact is a new year? That's when everything's unclear. Go on, go on. Oleg, I got your comments. I'm making corrections right now. I'll send the revisions to your email in half an hour. Mm-hmm. Mom, we're gonna be late. Stop, Vladimir. We're not going to be late now. Keep going with the poem. Big trees are growing in our living room. Mom and Uncle Misha could have taken me with them. Mom says it's not good for kids to go to warm countries when it's winter time. Right. Mom is absolutely right. I could have gotten really sick over there. And then, if you had gone with them, you wouldn't be able to take part in your dancing competition. You wanted it so much. You remember about that, Dad? But Mom said that... Dad remembers everything. Okay, is that you? Yeah, it's me. And these are Mom and Uncle Misha. Dad, sorry, but you didn't fit. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Come on, dig in. Pancakes following your dad's recipe. Yes, Valerie, how are you? The class? Yes, I remember, of course. Yes, I'll be on time. Okay, hurry up. Pancakes aren't good when they're cold. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, Vavka, careful! Did you hurt yourself? No. Here you go. Thank you. How many times have I told you not to take these toys with you? You're a big boy already. Stop! Wait! Wait! <sighs> oh no. The next one is at nine. I'm sorry, Mom. That's my fault. It's not your fault. But we are going to be late now. Taxi! Oh, come on! I can't believe we're late, Dad. And I wanted to see how they make Christmas decorations so bad. I'm sorry, sweetie. I worked all night, and that's why I overslept. I should have set the alarm clock on my phone. I forgot what it's like to take you to school. I'm sorry, Dad. I forgot to remind mm. you. It's all right. I promise that one day I'll take you somewhere like this factory here. Huh? Is that a deal? Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi. Mom, we're running late. Don't get upset. I asked Dad. He'll bring me back to this factory next weekend. Have they left I'll already? I'll Dad. He'll uh, take you yes, too. Yes, the entire elementary school. Right on schedule. Oh, no, 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 no. Not today. Why? What's wrong? I have an important day today and nobody to leave my son with. And I also have an important day and no one to leave my daughter with. Would you like us to give you a ride somewhere? Yes, thank oh. you so much. Okay, let's go. My name's Fetlana. I'm Evgeny. Mm-hmm. We met at parent-teacher conferences a couple of times, right? Uh, yes, possibly. It's a wonderful day today. Are you in? Mm -hmm. Are you a writer? Huh? 
No, these are self-study books. French, German, different ones. What about Chinese? Well, I'm still working on that one. That's too bad. Zenya, hi. Could you babysit Vavka today? I'm in a bind, really. Listen, I really can't. It's a total mess over here. I need to redesign the banners, go and pick up the costumes. I'm on edge already. Ask Peter. He's the father, after all. I never ask you for anything. Why are we still here? It won't start for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Did you put gas in it? <laughs> well, of course. Nope, I forgot. I'll come up with something. Can you come up with it any faster? As the Chinese say, quick is slow, but without interruptions. Thank you very much. We'll be fine on our own. Vladimir, get out. Bye. Bye. All right then. You think we're in trouble? Are you trying to kill yourself? Jumping in front of a car Aren't like that? Aren't you ashamed of yelling at a woman? I just feel sorry for you. Well, if you feel bad, rush to City Hall. It's a life or death situation. Having a rough morning? Uh, look where you're going right now. We can't get through. No problem. We'll go around. Is your name Evgeny by chance? I'm Nikolai. Thank God. I've had enough of Evgeny's today. Turn left here. Big deal. I only forgot to get gas. Ugh, finally. A gas can, a hose, and a kind word does wonders. I feel bad we didn't help Vladimir's mother with a ride. Hey, Dad, mm. when do you think we could go and visit Grandma? She must be bored of lying there all by herself. What? The phone. Oh. That's not mine. Look for it. Found it. What is it? Here. Take it. Yes, hello? That's right. Well, the thing is that Svetlana left her cell phone in my car. Yeah. N no, there was nothing between us. He hung up. Mm-hmm. Well, we need to return the phone to its owner. But aren't you gonna be late for work? It's called prioritizing. All right, let's go. Okay. Behave yourself. Today is a very important day. Make sure that nobody sees you, especially my boss. Hello. Hello. A reception of the Chinese delegation. Very important negotiations. Hello. Hello. I mean, these are not for children. Do you yeah, understand? I do. I do. Hello. Hello. Is Oleg in? Not yet. Vovka? Hello? Hello. Sveta, are you crazy? It's just for a few hours, don't worry. He's not going to be here during the press conference. Stay right here until mommy is done. Wait. What's going on? Where can it be? I didn't take it. Of course you didn't. Okay, calm down. It's not ringing? <sighs> okay, well. 
I guess that's not the end of the world. Hello, Peter. Hello. Is that Dad? Can I talk to him? Listen, do you think... What? You called me and some man answered the phone? I don't know who he is. Actually, I have a guess. Oh, I see. Yeah, I totally understand. Mm-hmm. Fine, to look after Vladimir. Sure, okay, listen. I can come now, but if I come now, I won't make it in the evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I agree, yeah. All right, goodbye. Who is this? That's a landscape. No, no, I mean this one. That's my assistant. All right. What about this one? She likes being photographed. Is that her here as well? Naked? What bothers you about it? She likes being photographed naked. Does it really matter? It does. <laughs> it's ringing right here. Yes. Uh, I'm on my way. Uh, listen up. Stay here. Don't make any noise. Mm -hmm. And don't leave this mm -hmm. room for any reason. Mm -hmm. I'll be back soon. All right, listen to me, Froggy. Take a seat in the back and be quieter than a mouse. Your dad will teach a class and then we'll have lunch, okay? You're 11 minutes late, as usual. How about that? Where are the students? Did they leave? There weren't any students. I decided to check on you. I organized a type of punctuality test for you. And you failed it. Evgeny, you're the most irresponsible teacher in my school. And you brought your child here? I had nobody to leave her with. Am I fired? Hmm. <laughs> no way. You lack discipline, yes but your student's attendance is off the charts. Well, that's good to hear. That's not the only reason I called you in. We need to discuss something else. Why don't you get some coffee right now? I need to make a couple of phone calls. I'll call you soon. Hmm. Hello? Evgeny! <coughs> Hello, Hello Anya. Anya. Let me help you. I'll do it myself. Uh, Thank you. Take it off. I'll put it away. Take off her coat. Go ahead. You've gotten so big. Oh, thank Come you. On. Would you like some snacks? Okay, here yes, goes. tea actually sounds good. Uh, okay. Thank you. Here you go. These should do it. There. Anya, how are you? The Chinese have said they're content with the hotel. Here's the schedule. There won't be any changes. And the gift. For the guest is in my office right now. It's a beautiful handmade Russian matryoshka doll. Uh, <clears throat> all right. How interesting. You're calling me. Hello? Good afternoon. I apologize in advance. May I please speak to Svetlana? Yes, it's for you. Yes, yeah, yeah, you. Hello? Hello, Svetlana. It's Evgeny. Evgeny. I can't talk right now. Should I call this number? No, and listen, don't call me on this number again. Okay. I'll call you back. I'm sorry, that won't happen again. I hope so. Uh... Mm, uh anyway. Yevgeny, you look so good today, and your... your cologne is so... exciting. Thank you. Who is that? That's none of your business. Why are you here? Well, I came to see you. Why? 
Well, well to look at you. <laughs> Are you done? Yeah. Good. Now go. Uh, and you? Well, I'm staying right here. I'm at work. You're the one who's right here doing nothing. Just distracting. I don't understand. Well... Okay, go now. And call me when you remember why you came. Yulia, if I see you with him again, I'll break his legs. Hear me? Finally do it to someone. And please just do it. Chinese self-study guide going? Well, a few more sleepless nights, <laughs> and it'll be ready, right? Mm-hmm. You work so much. Well, drinking tea again? Hello. 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 By the way, ladies, your classes are about to start. Listen, come to my office. I'll look after Nechka. Mm, thank you. Shouldn't you be working on something? I've done everything I was told to do, Dad. I'm sure. What's going on between you and my daughter? To be honest, nothing. Why is she circling around you? Well, I can't drive her away. Why don't you try it for a change? She's a young girl. She must study. And you're fooling around with her. Okay, the reason I called you? The bosses from Moscow are coming today. Semyon is coming. Right, he's the one. And some important woman who's a TV producer is going to be with him. You need to meet them. Of course, I'll find a substitute for your afternoon classes. What do they want? They have some idea for some educational TV project. They are visiting our branches, looking for a host, and I want them to choose my daughter. And what about her studies? She can finish in Moscow. Yevgeny, I need to show Yoka at her absolute best. You understand what I'm saying? Are they gonna come into our classes? Of course. That's great, just let her teach the evening class instead of me. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, then tell her everything she needs to know. She's a smart girl, although... although a bit tense. Uh, well, I can help her unwind. Genny, watch yourself. If I find out you're with her... Yeah. Okay, you can get out of here. Where's Anya? I don't know. She was just here. Here, there are a few phrases in Chinese. I thought you might want to speak with our guests in their native language. Great. Thank you, Svetlana. You are doing your job really well, really well. Olga, can you call it? Now, where did a child come from? I don't know, but um, uh, that must be a boy from the choir, which is going to perform for our Chinese partners. Why is he alone if he's from the choir? Uh, he must have gotten lost, right, little boy? Have you gotten lost? I want you to see to it immediately that he's found. I don't want to see the whole choir in the reception room. Of course. And call Nikolai Ivanovich. <laughs> Why? 
Why did you leave the room? Mom, I want to pee. <sighs> Get dressed quickly. Oh. Why did you do that? I wanted to check it. It says that it writes on all surfaces. Why didn't you write on your forehead then? Why, I wrote on my arms. <laughs> Anya! Anya! What do you think you're doing, huh? Anya. Shh, shh. Charlie, Charlie, come here. You've gotten along with it already. You're a good boy. Come here. Dad, I'm sorry. It was just that he was so hungry. Here, here, here. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> That's not a reason He's to so run nice. away from me. I would like to have a dog or a cat. Stay still. But Uncle Misha is, what's the right word, allergic. Yes, allergy is a serious business. Put your hand in. It's all right, my little froggy. You'll grow up and get a dog or a cat, right? Are you a good girl? You're never going to run away from me again? I promise. The season after winter before summer is... Springtime! <laughs> and Trisha, help me. You're my last hope. <gasps> you know, I like it. I think he's got talent. I understand. You don't think it's funny. Can I call from here? Yeah, the phone's right there. <laughs> That's really nice. That's a really pretty painting. Evgeny? It's me. I'm sorry, I was rude to you. Could you please bring me my phone back? It's a really pretty painting. But I'm pressed for time. Come here, come here. <laughs> Uh, where am I? I'm at the children's studio Leonardo. That's on... Uh, yeah, Pavlana Street. Pavlana Street. That's really helpful. Thank you. I'm waiting for you. And? Yeah, the dissolvent won't do. So to remove the marker will take time, and to apply two layers of lacquer will take time as well. I need it in an hour. Right. About an hour then? Okay, I have an idea to make it quicker. Perfect. I... Uh, I have another problem. Hmm. I need somewhere to leave my son before I go back to work. Oh, that's no problem. Vera! Yes, yes. Vera! Could you keep the child busy? Oh, hello. He could go to your studio. Oh, of course. Oh, what's your name? Hmm. Vova. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, please don't worry. I'm an experienced teacher and he won't get bored. We have a drawing lesson right now, and after that we're going to be making some models. Vladimir, promise me that you'll behave yourself. Everything will be okay, Mom. Mm-hmm. Oh, Mom, I'm a big boy already. Why are you kissing me like that? Oh, yo, yo, yo. Svetlana, <laughs> I brought your phone back to you. <gasps> oh. Dad! I didn't mean to do that. Thank you. What do I do now? My entire day depends on that phone. Oh, that's a very good job. Well, you can take mine and give it back later. What about you? Yeah, well, anyway, I have classes till late. I teach at this one language school called Polyglot. Have you heard of it? Thank you. The phone has two SIM card slots, so you don't need to take mine out, just insert yours. Yeah. Here it is. <gasps> hmm? You saved my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm leaving, goodbye. See you later. Hmm. 
pay attention. Let's finish. Did she just leave her son here? Yeah, we're gonna look after him for a while. Hmm. <laughs> Can I do that? What? Uh, leave my daughter here. Hold on, I need to ask Vera. Vera! Okay, you're an ancient Greek goddess. Raise the fruit higher. Like a goddess of fertility. Great. Yeah, Athena. Don't smile. Like that? Don't smile, be serious. <laughs> Look here, be serious. Don't make me laugh. Look here. Great. Okay. Listen, I'm hungry. Well, all right, we can order pizza. No, I don't want to eat pizza. I want to go to a restaurant. To a restaurant? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll arrange it. We're glad to welcome our dear guests, the mayor of Fuzhou, Mr. Mang and Mr. Tao. By way of cooperation and with your support, we will build the Youth Center for Sport and Art in Makarovs together. There will be a big stadium, a swimming pool, and various clubs and activities. By the example of the city of Fuzhou, we will occupy our dear kids and youth with sports, as well as creative activities. This will be a step forward on the way to a healthy and well brought up nation. Next is Yulia Denisova, born in 1997. I think she's really young. But very experienced already. A second year student of the Foreign Languages Department. By the way, she's going to transfer to the Moscow State Institute. I see. And you, Evgeny, what do you think about this girl? A very ambitious and qualified specialist. Well, haven't you thought about moving to Moscow yourself? Salaries and benefits are better there. No, no way. I have a daughter here. Semyon Semyonovich, you're luring my best teacher away from me right now. Valerie, he outgrew your Makarovsk a long time ago. Big time outgrew. Yes, Evgeny, your self-study guides have been selling particularly well in Moscow. Your method is really comprehensible. Mm, thank you. Semyon praised you so much. And in addition, your looks are really TV friendly. So the plan is as follows. I'll show you around the school, and then we'll have something to eat. And in the evening, I'll present our candidate for the role of the host. You'll see her at work, so to speak. At work? Yes, during class. By the way, it's college students, tough crowd, but our teacher knows what to do, a wonderful girl. She's a beautiful woman, speaks five languages. Her students just adore her. It's a wonder to observe. Well, it seems you're surrounded by so much talent. Hey there. You look great. Why did you want to see me? I mean, what do you mean, why? To talk. We couldn't take care of this over the phone? I mean, I guess I could, but your male secretary refused to put me through. I told you, that was an accident. Don't worry, I'm not judging you. A beautiful woman can't be alone for very long. Do you need money again? Why do you say again? It was just unforeseen circumstances. I went on a business trip, everything at my own expense, and I, and I broke a lens there. You can be sure I'll pay you back. I'm considering three job offers. Maybe you should choose the one which pays for a change. Very funny. Okay, you could have just said no. I would have understood. All right. Pet, yeah. No, bye. Pet, yeah, wait. It's not easy for me. And you don't help me at all. Listen, Sveta, I want to, I really do, I promise, but without this lens, I can't get a job. It's not the money. I want you to say that you could spend more time with your son. He really misses you. Every evening, he remembers your silly story about the wolf. Listen, I promise I will take him, I will teach him photography, everything will be what you want. I don't have that much on me, but here. There is an ATM inside in the lobby.
So, can we go? Who was it? The mayor's assistant. I received a big order. We're negotiating now. Have you discussed just the order then? Um, yeah. Why did it take so long? Well, she's a bit slow. Listen, I'll start again. There is only one woman in this world for me. And that beautiful, talented woman is you. I believe you. Okay. How did you manage to get an order from the mayor? Nobody's too high profile. I didn't want to tell you. I'm going to Moscow. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. <laughs> this book. I use it to study reading. Take a look at all the beautiful pictures. You're very lucky. You see your dad a lot. Yeah. Look. Mm -hmm. I want to look. No, it's my book. It's not yours. Everything is for everyone here. I won't give it to you. That's my dad's book. Give mm. it back. Hello? Hello, I'd like you to come and pick up your kids, please. They have behaved terribly. You need to come and get them and take them home right away. I'm so sorry. Please punish them. Have them stand in a corner. Don't give them sweets. I don't know, but let them stay there, please. You must understand my situation. I understand you're in a difficult situation, but what am I to do? Wait until your kids destroy the studio? Or hurt the other children? I'm sorry, I have no choice. You have to come and get them right away. right now. Hello? Hello, um, I was wondering if I could speak to... I wanted to see if Evgeny was available. He's at a meeting with a director. Okay, thank you. Evgeny, you know perfectly well how important it is for me for Yoka to get this job on the TV show. And here you are promoting yourself. Me? I didn't say a word. Semyon said everything himself. Don't worry, I'll train Yulia. Now come, are you calling me? Yes. That's for you. <sighs> for me? Yes. Evgeny, our kids have wreaked havoc on the studio. We have to go and pick them up now. As far as I remember, we don't have children together. That's not funny. Okay. I'll go and pick them up. But later, you'll look after them. Okay. Okay, then. That'll be fine. Evgeny, I'm not your personal assistant. Why is this lady calling me? Uh, Valerie, I'm sorry, but that's a long story, and I need to go. In the morning, you had one daughter. Now you have two. You're so quick. It's just an acquaintance. I need to pick up on you anyway. Well, maybe that's none of my business, but... I think you're too compliant. Too many people are taking advantage of your kindness. Yes, probably. Okay, well, that's your personal life. Just don't go forgetting about my daughter, please, Evgeny. Yes, yes. I promise everyone will be speechless, and after her lesson, they'll be in awe. May I go? Yeah, right. All right, Vladimir, tell us why you started the fight. I wanted to defend Anya. I can defend myself. Good job, Vladimir, good job. Anya, listen to me, girls do not fight. There are men who must stand up for their women. And then eventually, these men grow up and marry these women. Is that clear, sweetie? Uncle Zenya, why did you decide to get divorced? Don't you want to defend Aunt Larissa anymore? Mom said that Dad didn't ever really grow up. That's weird, he looks grown up. Okay. Do you want some dessert? Yeah! Yeah! If 
fine then. After lunch. Into the car. Quick. Damn it. What is wrong with this day? We have a small problem here. I'll pump up the tire and then we can go. over there. So what? Let's go buy some. Do you know how tasty they are? My granny loves them. We need to ask your dad for permission. We'll be fast. He won't even notice. Friendship between our towns. And here's our little modest gift, as they say, from our heart. What is this nightmare? That's Grandpa Frost. He loves kids and brings them presents for the new year. And the Future Youth Center of Sports and Art will also be a wonderful present for our children as well. Oh. <laughs> the snow maiden. <laughs> well then, now let's take this opportunity to look at the model of our future center together. Okay. I solved the problem, and now we can go and have lunch. Uh. Excuse me, have you seen a little boy and girl about six or seven? No, I'm sorry, I haven't. Thank you. Hi, please could you give us five pieces of gingerbread? No, 10, 20. Uh, of course, my darlings, one moment. Okay. They are really tasty. I made them <laughs> myself and wanted to eat them all. They smell ugh, very good. 1920. Here you go. That's 150 rubles. Um, I'm sorry. This is all the money we have. Huh. And this too. Uh, maybe your mom or dad have some money. Mom is at work. Um, you see, Dad doesn't really know we're here. Mm-hmm. Do you girls want to make a fool of me or what? Oh, no. <laughs> I'll call the police on you, you little rascals. Go on, get what? out of here. Get the thieves. Oh, hold it, hold get it. Get the thieves. I got him, I got him, I got him. What happened? They stole a whole bag of gingerbread from me. Uh-huh. Where's this bag? Here they are. The gingerbreads. How could they steal them if you're holding them in your hand? Well, they wanted to steal them. We didn't want to steal them. We wanted to buy them. We didn't have enough money, and he attacked oh. us. All right, how much do I owe you? And you what? You need this more than anyone? I do, because these are my kids. How much? Uh, 150 rubles. I have only 30. OK. Keep the change. Here you are. 
married, Vladimir. Not a word about this to your mom, okay? That will be our secret. And you can eat all these gingerbreads you want. And Granny? We'll leave a few for your Granny. Here, we have a pool. On the second floor, we have a ballet studio. And we have a room here for martial arts. <laughs> Boxing. Art studio. And other clubs as well. Where are the people? The people? <laughs> They'll be here in a moment. <laughs> what people? It's a model. <clears throat> <laughs> Here are the people. Uh, the the center of the center of the center of the When will the construction site for the sports center be ready? Well, the ground is broken, <laughs> and our workers are ready. The diggers could start as early as tomorrow. Uh, it has a little bit of a uh, why aren't you translating what they're saying? They're saying that they're very glad to finally be working with people like you. They don't look very glad, do they? If necessary, we can provide you with equipment and workers as well. How about we all have a small break? We can. We can all take a group photo next to the model. <laughs> and in a year, we will take the same photo next to the finish center. This is all very exciting. Well, uh, after all of us get to know each other uh, a little better, I think we should all go out to lunch. A good idea. Svetlana, thank you very much. Well then, I think everything is ready. Uh, well, we didn't plan it, but can we have a look at the construction site? The site? Now. Yes, of course. But let's have lunch first. As they say, mm -hmm. everything is easier after everyone has eaten. In two hours, we can drive over and show you the site. After you. I don't understand, Svetlana. Why did you interrupt the negotiations? Something's wrong here. Yes, you noticed it as well. We can go to the construction site. Isn't everything okay no, there? No, it's too early to go there. No need to rush. While you're having lunch, I'll look into it. Wait, where are you going? There's a person who can help us figure it all out. I'm going to find him right now. Wait, what about the construction site in two hours? I'll go there and I'll be waiting for you. Svetlana, listen to me. Don't let me down. Where's Evgeny? Is he teaching a class? I don't know. He must have been here a long time ago. And the kids? He's supposed to have two children with him. One of them is mine. Why don't I give him a call? Don't. I have his phone. All right. Here we are. I don't speak Chinese, but something went wrong. Mm -hmm. We gave them the information, and they started talking amongst themselves. I recorded a few phrases on the phone. Could you translate them for me? Yeah. Well, she said that you will still need three years to prepare the site. We didn't say that. 
We promised to do it in a year. Is she mistranslating? Well, that's possible. First, we need to find out exactly how far she's gone lying. Did you record anything else? No. But what should we do now? Uh, do you think you could go to the negotiations with me? Well, to listen to what she's translating to them and what they're saying to each other? Evgeny, I'm glad to see you. Hello. Tell me, please, when are you going to work with my daughter? No, uh, soon. I wanted to do it now. Ah, uh, thank you very much. I owe you one. About the negotiations? Forget it. You have enough problems yourself. My problems are nothing compared to the fact that our town is not going to have a youth center. Do you think you will have time to train the girl? She's not hopeless. It won't take much time. Just a little brushing up. Thank you very much. And I'll feed the kids while you do that. <laughs> All right, deal. It's Felana. Hmm? Shall we drop the formalities? Gladly. Hmm. Fafka, why aren't you eating? Why are you both not eating? We don't want to. Okay, I have a surprise for you. If you guys finish your soup, you will both get delicious gingerbread cookies. Hmm. <sighs> Can we have them tomorrow? Vladimir, what's wrong? These are your favorite. Are you sick or something? No, it's just that we have a secret too. We're not supposed to talk about it. What is the secret about? It's about Uncle Zenya and you. Did he say something about me? Yeah, but Dad asked not to tell you. He said it's about feelings. Yeah, he said that you might get mad at him. That's why we won't tell you anything. Okay, so it's about me, Uncle Evgenia, and feelings. And why do you think I'll get mad at him? You never know. What if I don't? We won't tell you anything about it. We won't. Okay, but you'll have to eat your soup anyway. Hmm. <sighs> You must be brave. Don't be afraid to be yourself. Don't pretend to know everything. Sincerity is always appealing. And you'll also be with my group. So then, don't let me down. Julia, if you don't do your best, they won't choose you for the show. Well, maybe I don't want to be chosen. I don't want to leave this place at all. Okay. Why not? Because Grisha is also here. My dad thinks my happiness lies in this idiotic show. He should go himself and dance in front of those stupid cameras. <sighs> why did you flirt with me then? Your dad is driving me crazy. Constantly asking why I'm fooling his girl. And the girl doesn't know what she wants. Well, all I wanted to do was encourage Grisha. Make him jealous, for example. And he's just walking around in circles looking at me, doing nothing. Go and tell him about it. Who? Dad or Grisha? Both of them. Maybe my dad will. Just... Fire you? No. Mm-hmm. But he can fire me, if I don't prepare you for the show. I'm not afraid of anything. And you shouldn't either. Tell them the truth. It won't make it worse. I'm sorry. Time to go. Tell them the truth. I only need to get closer to the delegation. I'll think of something. And if I hear something suspicious, I'll give you a sign. Mm -hmm. What sign? 
Well, I don't know. Send you an air kiss, for example, like this. I have one more question. Go on. The kids told me that you have a secret. All right, well, did they reveal it? No, they were silent like two gorillas. But I think I can guess what it's all about. That's interesting. Maybe you can tell me? Damn it. Well, I'm afraid that you might get angry at me. Is it something terrible? No. But I was pretty worried there for a bit. So you two will stay in the car. But, Mom... No buts now, all right? Bye. Anya, stay here for a while. Don't go anywhere. Is that clear? We won't be long, okay? Don't get out of the car. It's not good to leave them alone in the car. Hmm. Yeah? I'm sorry to bother you. Would you mind watching our kids? Please, we won't be long. Okay. Watch them carefully, please. I'll do my best. Oleg, I invited our technical manager to participate in the meeting. Hello? It is a good site. When will you formalize the land acquisition? It is already done. And the service lines? We have it all arranged. Electricity, water... We've seen enough, but we need to think it all through. We're taking a break now. I know this place. The hospital isn't far from here. So what? Well, Granny's in the hospital, and I want to see her. Will you help me? What about this one? He's not taking his eyes off of us. Just be quiet. Don't make any noise. Does this man know what he's doing? Yes, I can vouch for him. He gave me a sign. What sign? That magic air kiss of his? Yes, a sign. In case he notices something suspicious. Who is he anyway? He looks a little familiar. That's Evgeny Potapov. He's a teacher at a language school. His self-study books are sold in every bookshop. Right, right. He looks at us from every shop window. And? He speaks Chinese. And I showed him the recording I made on the phone. And when he watched it, he said the translator told the Chinese delegation that the site would be ready in three years, while you were talking about it taking a year. After that, we decided to come here and listen to what else the translator is lying to us about. Yeah, 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 I see. What happened? What are they saying? It turns out she got paid to ruin the negotiations. That's why she didn't translate correctly. Yes. Uh, 
They are really sorry and ready to sign everything. I'm really glad. He's inviting you to the restaurant to celebrate the successful negotiations at 6 o'clock. Tonight? Tonight. At 6, but we have... We will be there. We'll be there. The dinner's at 6. The kids' competition is at 7. What are you going to do? Well, I'll come for about 10 minutes, but after that I'm leaving. They won't even notice. Fufka? Where are they? Oh. Where? Yeah? Where are the kids? What do you mean? They're in the car. Well, There's nobody in the car. Nobody. Nobody. Jeez, they were sitting in the car. Fulf! Anya! Fulfka! Fulfka! Hello? That's for you. Fulf! Yes. Where the hell are you? The Moscow guests will be here soon. Get here now. Why? Yulia didn't say anything. Vovka! What should we do? Think. Ani's always been trying to escape since she learned to walk. We should call the police. No. What's the point? They won't do anything immediately anyway. My sister has a classmate who is a police officer. Call her. We have no options so far. Hello, it's an emergency. Anya, they won't let us in. We'll figure something out. Hello. Hello. Could you please help us? We're looking for Rodionova Nikolaevna. Kids, where'd you come from? Where are your parents? Dad's parking the car. He'll be in in a minute. When your father comes in, then you'll go up together. I won't let you in by yourself. Well, I'm already seven. My dad said I'm practically a grown-up. My granny's in there, and she's really missing me. And you won't let me in. Really? A grown-up? Rodinova. Rodinova. Okay, you can go. Fourth floor, room 404. Thank you. Igor, give them some shoe covers. So, last names, first names of the children. Wait a second, um, why do they have different last names? It's because they have different fathers. They have different mothers too. Oh my gosh, this is a long story. Please do something. I know you can. Okay, you say they were in the car and then they disappeared. Yes. Yes, maybe they just went away. My son doesn't run off for no reason. As you can see, he does. Have you all ganged up together or what? Can you just help us find the children? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's think this over together. Where could they go? Well, we're here. Here's the construction site. Here's the park. Here's the hospital. It's most likely they went to the park. There's an amusement park In winter. Here. Yes, you're right. Did you say the hospital? Mm hmm? The, the hospital. Where's the gingerbreads? Wait, what gingerbreads? Are we looking for gingerbreads or the children? Our children had gingerbreads on them. Why do those matter? It's everything. Just wait. Anya, I'll get you. studio at all. There was a bully there who tore up my dad's book. Hmm. And he was the one who stood up for me. Wow. So maybe you will introduce me to your shining knight. That's Vava. Nice to meet you, Vladimir. Nice to meet you, but I'm not a knight. Oh, it depends. Why is your dad taking so long? Maybe something happened. Uh, Grandma? What? I told you a lie. My dad didn't drive us here. 
we came on our own. On your own? On our own. Just wait a minute. They came on their own. Hello? Libov, hello, good afternoon. Are the children with you? Yes, both of them. They're cheering my heart. Oh, that's great. I'll come and get them soon. Oh, okay. Well, I need someone to tell me the truth. Can anyone tell me what really happened? they could be. I just learned to listen to my daughter. Mm. She wanted to see her granny at the hospital. I'm surprised at your calmness. Why be nervous? We found the children. But why? But they went away alone. God knows where. The main thing is that they got to granny. She will never let them go. Believe me. Let's go. And what about your beauty parade for the guests from Moscow? Hmm. I guess I'll figure it out. No, you shouldn't throw this girl to these people from the capital. Please let me help you. If you want, you can go to the hospital and I'll cover you at the lesson. How? With the truth? Just try to come back soon. Mm-hmm. Okay. Only don't forget that your kids have dancing competitions tonight. You better not be late. He's a keeper. Don't let him go. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. So, uh, what are you doing tonight? Good evening. My name is Yulia Valerievna. The topic of this lesson is... The topic of this lesson... I believe in you. You know, today I had to teach a lesson instead of Yevgeny Ivanovich. And I've thoroughly prepared for this lesson, but... But... But I won't be teaching it today. <clears throat> what? What? Because... I... Don't want to leave here and move to Moscow. I really want to stay here. In my hometown, with a man I love. He's very indecisive, of course, and will never admit to his feelings. So I'll do it myself. Yulia, wait a minute. I'll say it myself. You, Yulia, will you please, please marry me? happy note, I'd like to ask, who's going to continue this lesson? I'm curious, did you bring me here to look at a prospective candidate for the educational program or some kind of a wedding show? <laughs> uh -huh. Here you are. Good to see you. Hello. Well, Anya, I'll talk to you at home. I think we're in trouble. Okay, go out into the hallway. Go on, go on. Wait a minute. You won't run away this time? Sit there and wait. Oh, you're very modern parents. You fuss about your children a lot, don't you? When we were children, we used to walk seven kilometers to school on foot. That's only one way. And then back home, nothing special. That's what was expected. And now children are afraid to go outside. They can't even wipe their own noses. Yes. You're right, no doubt. I can only say one thing. Anechka happens to be a very good father. And my daughter is a fool. So tell me, where's your amazing polyglot of Genny? Let's have him continue the lesson. Not a good idea. Why not? He's a completely irresponsible, disorganized person. He's always late. If you want, I could start the lesson myself. We shouldn't keep everyone waiting. Well, maybe we should wait for Evgeny. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no. Yeah, 
You're absolutely right. Valerie, please start and continue on. I beg your pardon. Good afternoon. I'm Svetlana, the mayor's assistant. Oleg personally asked me to give all of you his sincere apologies. He urgently needed a Chinese interpreter due to the arrival of the Chinese delegation today. And Evgeny graciously agreed to help us. So Evgeny can also speak Chinese? Yes. As well as Japanese. I thought you were interested only in the European languages. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Wait for me here. But swear to me that you won't run away. We don't need to go anywhere, Dad. I'll take your word for it. Oh, Evgeny, you're here! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Evgeny, no need to hurry. We're waiting for you. By the way, how did it go with the mayor? With the mayor, everything went well. I actually like your popularity very much. But maybe we can begin the lesson. Yeah. Excuse me, I need to go. I'm having dinner with the Chinese. Paper rock. Paper rock. Oh my gosh, you scared us. Swear that you'll never run away again. We don't need to go anywhere else, Mom. I have some work to do, but someone is going to pick you up. Mom, will we make it to the dancing competition? Of course. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, go. Look, Lilia, I'm not the kind of man who's afraid. I take everything from this life, and then some. I find whatever belongs to me, and it doesn't matter where. Then I never give it back to anyone, no matter what happens. We're glad that everything ended up so well. Mr. Meng says that we need to thank Svetlana and her attentiveness for it. Well then, according to the Russian tradition, as we say, bottoms up. That's Mao Tai, the Chinese vodka. Don't offend the guests. So, to our productive <laughs> meeting. <laughs> bottoms up. Bottoms up. When is mom gonna come? Soon. Dad, we're gonna be late for the competition. Vladimir, how fast can you memorize foreign words? Huh? Well, it depends. It's midnight in China and half an hour. The Chinese New Year is approaching. It's the Spring Festival in China. We'll be very glad to celebrate the Chinese New Year with all of our Russian friends. We'll bring the warmth of our meeting from far away Russia to our Beijing. Thank you. Well, please tell Mr. Mang that we are really glad as well. <laughs> There's this boy from the choir. He's been following me all day. Don't translate that. <laughs> what do he say? He says that he and his mom have to go. This boy is here for a reason. He's my son, Vladimir. In half an hour, he has he has his first dancing competition. 
And if I don't go with him, he will be disappointed in me. So, Oleg, you can fire me, but I'll be leaving either way. Because my son is more important to me. Tasha,他的儿子是舞蹈演员,过半个小时就是他人生当中的第一次的舞蹈比赛,所以他现在马上必须立刻的离开,作为母亲,他要跟自己的儿子走,然后他说即使市长先生可以开除他,可是他一定
Why are you so sad? You did really well today. <sighs> I really miss Anya, Mom. She's awesome. Mm, really? I even got into a fight for her today. You got into a fight? Go see Vladimir. Okay. Hello. 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 Hi. Again. I just remembered I owe you something. Come in. Anya, how are you? <gasps> uh, what are you talking about? Uh, well. Here. Oh, you shouldn't have, yeah, really. I've already forgotten Anya. about it. No, no, no. Just for you. Let's go have tea. Thank you. One more thing. A little champagne. Mmm. For kids. Mmm. Fly a sky lantern. Vovka, let's finish our tea first. <sighs> we'll finish it later. As if we've never had tea before. Follow me, boys Yay! and girls. Yay! Come on. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> the last to leave is the pride crop. Where are your shoes? These ones are mine. Where are your dad's shoes? Oh, here they are. Here Come we on, go. Come on, make it fly. Come on, up, up, up. Dad, I'm really cold. Really cold. <laughs> All right, go inside. Catch it. <laughs> can we watch cartoons? <laughs> of course you can, but not too long. Uh-huh. 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 Let me help you. Uh, thank you. Cartoons will keep him busy. Well then, tea? Champagne? Um, uh, yes. Champagne? There's still a little bit left for us. Well then, your glass? <laughs> what are we drinking to? To the, the victory of our children. And to the Chinese New Year. To the happy ending of this day. Are you cold? Uh-uh. Mm. Uh, your ears? 